Hi, my name is Sarah McFarland and I'm an editor with a garment sewing magazine. I'm here today to show you a very quick and easy sewing project. It's an embellished skirt that features rows and rows of beautiful trim. And what makes this project very easy is that you use striped fabric to guide the trim placement and we're going to turn a regular skirt pattern into a single pattern piece so that uh, you won't need to sew any side seams and you, can, you won't need to match the stripes in your fabric. You want to start with a straight skirt pattern. You want to look for one that has vertical side seam allowances that are at a 90 degree angle to the hem. And the skirt should have a rectangular waistband. What I did here was I cut out the size I wanted to make. I marked a 5 8 seam allowance and then I would trim that away. I would combine the trim pieces into a single pattern piece. And I've labeled it here so you can see what's happening. This is the center back seam line. The hem fold is marked on there at the bottom. The side seam shaping, you're going to mark and treat that as a dart. This is the center front of the skirt, and there's the other center back seam line. So I'm going to cut this out on my striped fabric, and it's going to be uh, so easy because it's a single piece and I won't have to match any of the stripes at the side seams. This is the prepared skirt that I've cut out, and it's ready for embellishment. I pinned on a piece of trim, and uh, you don't even need to pin the trim on. You can just hold it in place as you sew, and I picked a stripe right here that's going to guide the trim placement. I start at the top of the skirt, and you want to make sure that that first row of embellishment is uh, well free of your seam line where you're going to attach your waistband later. A lot of laces have a nice header edge on the top that you can use to apply the, the trim there. And I'm just going to stitch through that. And you can go as fast as slower as you like. It's really very easy. And if you're, you know, if you start to uh, need a course adjustment along the way, you can do that. Now you would sew on all the rows of trim in this matter. So you could continue to sew on the rows of trim in this manner, and you can see right here, this is what your skirt would look like with all of the rows of trim applied. And now I'm going to turn over here and finish the construction of the skirt. There's a neat trick that I used on the back of the skirt. It's an exposed zipper treatment, and this protects the trim from catching in the zipper teeth. I'm going to apply the zipper on the exterior of the garment with the seam allowances folded from the wrong side to the right side, so the trim actually never comes in contact with the zipper teeth. Uh, this is what it looks like when you're done. I'm going to start right here with how to mark and prepare the fabric. This is your center back seam line, just imagine that. And I would place my zipper so that the uh, tape is at the top edge of the skirt. And you want to use a marking pen and mark where the bottom stop is. Then you would go to your sewing machine, you would baste from the top of the skirt to that mark at the zipper bottom point, then you would back tack there and then continue with regular uh, to sew the seam with a regular sewing machine stitch. At this point, I would use a seam sealant at this point, and you want to liberally dose it right here. Now, I've already prepared this, and you can clip through the seam allowances there. So you clip through both of them right up to that back tacking. So at that point, you can fold open the seam allowances. You would remove the basing stitches and fold the seam allowances from the wrong side to the right side so that they cover the embellishment where the zipper is going to go. In here I used the dark stitching, the contrast stitching, to show you where I basted those seam allowances down in place. At this point, you're ready to sew on the zipper and you're going to sew it on right over those pressed open seam allowances. This is what yours uh, will look like at the end. I uh, sewed, I used a straight stitch here, but you can also use a zipper, uh, a zigzag stitch to do this. And I used two rows of stitching, close to the zipper teeth and close to the zipper tape edge. And what this does is when you open the zipper, you can see the zipper teeth are not close to the trim. They don't come in contact with it at all. And the inside of the skirt is very neat.
I just wanted to give you a quick tip about the waistband. If you apply uh, an embellishment to the waistband, you want to make sure that you place it between the seam line and the fold line on the waistband. So I marked those here as an example, and this is what the waistband would look like after you've sewn that on. And that's how simple it is. The rest of the instructions, anything else you'd like to know, is on the website.